Hi everyone, it's Brenda at My Paper Crafting Life, and I am here to show you Project 3 in the Autumn Cottage Project Booklet. So if you were lucky enough to receive one of these project booklets, you know that there are several projects in here, and I am doing YouTube videos to explain how to make a second page. So this is my third video. If you haven't seen the other two, head back because you're gonna need to learn some things from there. All right, let's start with the basic page itself. It's such a pretty page because it focused on borders and these laser cut borders and I just love them. And in the original recipe, I have some trees up here but I kept those so that I could do another line of these borders on the next page. So let's move this off and grab the next page, which I've already splattered for you because I taught splattering in uh, video one. So you can go back there if you need to. And of course, you know that I always put a little bit of masking tape on my page to hold it still. And we're going to make a balanced layout using the exact same cuts. But when you make a balanced layout, that doesn't mean that you can use this circle in the same place and the photo mats in the same place because it's not going to look right. So you need to bring your focus across the pictures, right? We That's what we do in scrapbooking. We bring our focus across the page. And so I'm going to teach you how to do that with another eight and a quarter circle. Now this eight and a quarter circle, I cut with the jumbo circle cutting system and the blue blade and I cut it on the inside. And that's how I got the eight and a quarter inch circle. So let's move that out of the way. We want to bring the I across the page versus breaking it up and having another page exactly the same. So I'm going to lay these things out for you and see what I think of them. Instead of having a landscape mat, I have two verticals. And then I have my borders. Let's see how this all lays out. And we've got some work to do with those borders. And we're going to bring this one down just a little bit. So this is going to be two and a quarter inches from the top. And you can even bring it in more if you want um, so that it's an inch from the side an inch from the side and two and a quarter inches from the top. And then we're going to tilt that photo too so that when we have our layout, look at how well your eye goes across the page now because it's looking at these two big abstract yellow circles. So let's take these off. We'll put those on in a little while. And this is also three and a half inches from the bottom. And so we've got our circle hanging off the page, which means we're gonna cut a little bit of it off, but it is about two and a quarter. Let's measure for sure so that you know, two inches from the bottom. Two inches from the bottom, and we're gonna cut off about an inch and a quarter, okay? So I'm gonna move these as well. My splattering's all done. I don't have to worry about that. What I need to worry about is adhesive. I need to get my adhesive over here. And I'm going to use my repositionable Creative Memories adhesive. Now I've told you there's a lot of misconception about this repositionable. People think that it is uh, actually won't hold permanently. That's not true. It will hold permanently. I had that misconception when I came over to Creative Memories. 
but I learned and I love this adhesive. Okay, so we said we're going to put this next one about three inches from the bottom and an inch over. So I'll use my ruler to make sure I have that straight. And let's get some adhesive on the back of this photo mat. This is really a simple page to add a second page to. And then I want to angle this one. I'm not going to put any adhesive on this corner right here because I need to tuck my photo underneath. So I'm just going to put it everywhere else. Uh-oh, I must be out. We're gonna go ahead and use the regular tape runner. I should really mark these so I know where they are. Okay, there we go. And now we have this so similar to the other page, but quite opposite. And it's going to flow, your pictures are going to flow so nicely across the page. Now the next thing we need to do is I need to figure out which tape I want to use this one two and a half inches from the bottom we are going to put this mountain border now you see that um, we're starting at the top one because we want to be able to build down and so we'll start at two and a half inches and I'm going to just put adhesive at the bottom of the mountain range in the back. And I left adhesive off of here so that we could tuck the photo in. But there's little enough adhesive along the bottom that you're going to be able to tuck these photos anyway. Now here's a, a thing. I have this tree border, which is what I have in the second one, but there's this truck here. And if I use that on there, it's going to get hidden. I'm going to take that truck right off of there. I'm just going to grab it. Um, you'll see what I do with it afterwards and take it right off of there. It's adhered with 3D foam and I'm pulling it off of there and we're making quite a mess here. I am making a mess, not we, me. And none of that will be seen, so don't worry. I'm going to use this, so keep that near you. Now I'm going to go one and a half inches but I think what I wanna do is put some foam tape, just some squares along here so that these trees stand out. And I can go through easily on my first page and do that there as well. We did that yesterday in the video, we made trees stand out. And that's exactly what I wanna do this time is make these trees stand up a little bit and add a little depth, depth to the page. And when you add depth to the page, you add interest as well. So here we go. I'm going to put adhesive along the bottom and put it at one and a half inches. Okay, and now these trees are going to stand up just a little bit more than they did. And there's just a little bit more interest in that whole tree and mountain line. So then I'm going to adhere this campfire at half an inch from the bottom. So it's two and a half, one and a half, and a half. I'm going to move this piece of tape 
and again, put this across the bottom and you'll see that my little tears from removing the truck will be covered. Okay, and we're gonna use this truck right up in here, somewhere on the page. I'm going to pick this up first and cut that hat, that overhanging circle off. Now you can bring it into your paper trimmer if you wish, if you feel more confident that way. I'm very confident just cutting it off the edge with my scissors. And there we have that circle. Now on this page, we have a circle and a compass. And remember, I bought the extra stickers so I can use a compass on this one again, but I want a different scene. And so I'm gonna go with apple of my eye and I'm gonna grab this scenic root sign and put that right over here. And I'm gonna tuck my, first I wanna remove all that 3D. Here, I'll get that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I wanna remove that 3D foam out of there. It's okay to cut apart your embellishments and do different things with them. And I wanna tuck that truck underneath there. And I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive over on this side, but I want a little bit of foam squares up on the hood of the truck, not on the hood, the top of the truck, as if we're following the scenic route. Okay, so that's a great way to use that truck and not have to put it exactly where it was on the other one. Now I'm going to see if these will work over here. Instead, I might put, I had Autumn Adventures up here and I like this crisp fall day. Uh, let's see. When it's on the white, it takes away that white, but I don't know. I think I wanna put beautiful views. And because that other sticker had a leaf on it, let me bring that back in and show you. It had leaves on the ends. I'm gonna grab some leaves like that here and put under this beautiful views so that we're matching. We're balancing out the layout. I have to find my other sticker sheet. And grab that one in there. Let me see if that's straight. Views is a little bit down. So let's lift that up before it's completely stuck and bring that up. So now we have a sentiment that looks somewhat like the Autumn Adventures on here. Do we need anything more? I don't know, I don't think so. Um, if you wanna tuck this compass, I take the top off. And put that on the scenic route by the truck, tuck that in and then maybe grab some more leaves. Let's grab another yellow one and an orange one and make a whole cluster down here. I'm going to put some 3D foam tape behind that leaf so that it stands up. And I want you to leave room for journaling. And so I'm not going to add anything more. There's plenty more stickers. If you buy a second set, 
<clears throat> there's plenty. But the way that I journaled in this first page was around the circle. So you would do your journaling with your brown dual tip pen around there. And then you've got room over here as well to do some journaling about these pictures. We can never do too much journaling. Let's look at those pages together and you can see how the eye goes across the page versus having a break. Let me make sure they're in the screen for you versus having a break and doing them exactly the same way. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Have fun with Autumn Cottage. Talk to you soon.